What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the show. Check it out. Here's what's getting ready to happen. We've already done our videos. We've lined them all up. We got every individual part done, all the soprano, alto, tenor, bass, everything. Got it done, right? So now we got to bring it in and put them in each individual square. So here we go. You ready? Let's get to it. Step one. You got to bring your grid in and drop it into the timeline so that you can work with the grid. So let's grab our grid. We go up and grab the grid. We bring it into the timeline. Something very important to note. When you bring this in, if you press play, you'll notice that the grid is moving. So you don't want it moving. It's called the Ken Burns effect. So we got to turn that off because we want the grid to sit still so that we can line up every part, make sure that everything is right and get every guy singing right where they're supposed to be. So the first thing you do is you go up here to the top. You see that it's highlighted blue. It's always like that when you bring it in. Click that and you'll see it says Ken Burns effect. And one day we'll get into what the Ken Burns effect does. But for right now, we don't want it. So let's go over here to where it says fit and click that. Now, once you do that, you'll notice that if you press play, the grid no longer moves. So that's the step number one. We got that done. The grid is not moving. Now let's do the next part. Let's bring in our first singer and place him into his proper spot. You ready? We go up here. I know I'm going to use this guy because he is the first singer that I want to bring in. I'm going to drop him on top. Now, a couple of things to notice. When you bring him in, the audio is there because remember before in the last video, we already did our sync to get the audio um, synced up with the video as well as removing the green screen so that he's sitting in a black background. We've already done that. That means we know this is perfect. We never have to worry about audio again. We never have to worry about syncing again. We're good. We know that that's done. So here's what we got. Let's take a peek real quick. We crown him with many crowns. Okay. So we got that part, but there's no grid. That's because he's on top. Here's how you put him back in his right place and get him there. We got to put it picture in picture. So you go up here to where it says cutaway, go down to picture in picture, and boom, he's already there. Now let's bring this back and bring our cursor back into the timeline or our playhead back into the timeline so that you can actually see the boxes. So we're going to click back on here. We're going to double click so that we can re-highlight the guy. And we're going to slide him to where we want him. Now, I already know where, I, where I'm going to put him. I've already made these decisions. And so I know what I'm going to do. And this is what you got to do beforehand. Kind of map out mentally or on paper, however you do it. Map out where you want these voices to be and the tricks that you want to do. Because we're going to do some tricks later on. So now we got this one place where we want it. Now we just click anywhere on the screen. And there it is. Now... You can press play, and we see that the guy is there, right? So let's come back, bring our playhead back. Now, notice that we got him a little bit too big, and he's he's kind of over the line. Simply double click on your on your thing there, on your timeline there, and move it up. Just slightly grab it and move it up, and you can put him back in place, and he'll always sit right there. Now, I want you to notice one other thing. When we press play, you saw the grid lines disappear. That's because we did not match the grid line with the video clip. Let's go back. Remember before I showed you guys this on the setting slider? We're going to move this back, slide it back to the left until we can see the entire timeline of video. Once we do that, we go back down to the bottom. We grab our grid. We slide it all the way out. We stretch it all the way out to the very end. All right. So now we have our grid. The good news is this. Once you add this grid the first time, you never have to add it again because it's going to be on our video. And here's how that's going to happen. From here, we got our grid. Our singer is in there. He's in his place. It's perfect all the way through to the end. We know we got it. We're ready to go. The next move. All you do, you come up here, click, go down to file, dump it out, give it a name that you can remember because you're gonna bring it back in. You can call it number one, number two, whatever it is, because you're gonna to have to bring it back in. So that's the next part that I wanna show you. Instead of making two videos, I'm gonna make this one video. We're gonna bring it back in and add our second sing singer. Now notice, when we do this, this is how you're gonna add every singer that you put in the grid. So watch this. We do that, we dump it. I've already dumped it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna go get the one that I already did and bring it in. Couple of things to notice. The singer is in the box exactly like I want it, and the audio is already there. So when we play, Crown him with many we got the audio, we got everything, but now we got to bring in number two. So I'm going to go get my second guy. I know which guy that I want to get. That's this guy right here. I'm going to bring him down in the timeline, 
and you see, again, that guy is on top. You don't see the grid. We already know what to do. We got to make it picture in picture. Go up here, select picture in picture. There it is. We got our second guy, right? Now we're going to take him, drag him into place like we did the first guy. We're going to stretch him out to fit, make it certain that they get close to the perfect size. And when we click off anywhere in the screen, all of a sudden, two guys are on screen. Now remember, I know what you're thinking. Hey, let's bring in the third guy. Let's bring in the fourth, fifth, sixth. You can't do that. This is iMovie. iMovie has limitations. You can only have two video tracks at a time. One, two. So what you have to do, you dump this out and bring it back in, and that gives you your second guy. And you're going to do this for the third guy. Do it, bring it. Now, here's the thing I want you to see, and this is very important. If you don't catch this, you're going to have problems later. And here it is. Notice that the audio track is on both of those video tracks. You don't want both of them because when you do that, Only ten. see how loud that is? It's doubling up the sound. So all you do, either one, I usually take the one on the top, grab the, um, the audio track and turn it all the way down. Once you do that, you have two video tracks and one audio track, okay? That way you're not stacking that sound and then beefing it up and getting it where it's gonna start clipping in people's radios and starts to, or people's uh, phones or on their computers or wherever, and it's going to uh, uh, distort. You don't want that. So now we got two tracks. Now real quick, watch this. Let's pretend I've already gone up here. I've already named it number two and dumped it out, right? So let's get it there. Get rid of it. I'm going to go up here and grab it because I've already done it. Bring this down. Now I got two guys singing, right? I got one audio track and two guys, but I got to bring in a third guy. Let's go get him. I know it's him. Bring him in. What do we notice? Double audio, even though we got the one guy. We already know we got to put him in um, picture in picture. Let's go do that. Hit picture in picture. We got three guys. We go get him. We drag him into place. We stretch him out, and now in our timeline, we have three people singing, but we got to turn down the audio. Go grab the audio, turn it down, and that's it. You're going to do it over and over again, and I move you have to keep doing that, but the final product, when it's done, this is what you want to win, and I noticed that it's a little big. You're going to fix that on yours and make certain that he's sitting like you wanted to, but there it is. The guys are singing, and let me say this. Remember, because we've already did our sync to the audio, we never have to wonder, wonder rather if the audio track and the video track are fitted again. We don't have to worry about that because we've already done it. All you got to do is start dropping them in. Boom, boom, and you got it. And there it is, and you got it. And in the end, you do the fourth guy. I got three guys over here. I got four guys here. I got five guys here. And then I did some others. I think there's six in this one. Yep, there's six in that one. And then we did some tricks. But I'm going to come back to that and show you the tricks later, all right? So that's how you do it. That's how you bring them in. In iMovie, that's how you find yourself with all of those boxes. Make your own music video with you singing or maybe got your friends singing. Whatever it is you're doing, you're outside. You done got some outside shots and you just want to do something that's a little bit different. This is how you go about putting all of those people into grids. All right, we got some more videos coming. Got a lot more to do because even in this, there's some tricks I got to show you that I pull off and I want you to see how that's done. Um, that you'll see it in just a second. Uh, we got that going on. Listen, if you like what we've been talking about like, and you've been learning, you've been getting it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, am I talking too fast? My face too ugly? Whatever it is, give me a thumbs down if you just hate my guts. I don't care. Just give me a thumbs. Get, just interact with me, all right? If you got any questions, go down in the timeline and into the comment section. Write your questions down. I will respond. I will check them out. I will answer those questions. Maybe you got an idea for a video you want me to do, something that you want me to cover in, on a Mac. Um, I'll go ahead and cover that as well. Um, also, click subscribe and click, hit the bell so you know when they're coming. Listen, video is going to be dropping every Wednesday, and we're thinking about starting to drop every Monday and Wednesday, but definitely on Wednesday they're going to be dropping. So keep your phone handy. Keep your computer handy. Keep checking out these videos that are coming, all right? Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Check back with us later. We got so much more coming. Oh, check out our website. It's keithrenpile.com. That's right. Go check us out. Peace. See y'all on the next video. Oh, <laughs> my